Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, it's your favorite history teacher back at you again with another historical video. And today we finally, we finally finish the last lecture of this unit, module 10, lesson five. And it's a short one. So uh, maybe that means you can watch the entire video. All right. The last, the 14th lecture of the entire unit. The impact of the New Deal. Module 10, lesson five. Uh, let's get into it. That was your warm up. Objectives we're going to summarize opinions about the effectiveness of the New Deal and describe the legacies of the New Deal. All right, so the end is nigh. Uh, the New Deal had helped reduce the suffering of Americans. Millions of people received some form of help that ranged from direct relief to jobs that provided a steady paycheck. But it's key to note that FDR's programs still didn't end the Great Depression. During his second term, FDR had hinted at plans of launching a third New Deal. However, the president didn't favor this type of deficit spending, and the federal government had already gone deep into debt to provide jobs and aid to the American people. Although the economic troubles still plagued the nation, FDR faced rising pressure from Congress to scale back the New Deal programs. He will cut back on spending, and as a result, industrial production will drop once again. Without the support, well... The stuff you helped build up fell apart. The number of unemployed people increased from 7.7 .7 million. Remember, it was, it was roughly 33 million people uh, were without jobs. So it had helped up until 1937 because by a year later, 1938, 3.3 .3 million people or three Three more million people were unemployed. Meanwhile, the president was becoming increasingly concerned with the events in Europe, especially Hitler's rise in Germany. Hint, hint, where we're going next. The government was soon preparing for war and spending money on producing guns, tanks, ships, airplanes, and other war supplies. And in 1939, the deficit will rise again to $2.9 billion. This massive spending, however, finally brought the nation out of the Great Depression. That's on your that's on your study guide on your test. So during World War II, the deficit will reach a high of fifty-four billion dollars in nineteen forty-three. Oh, oh, how I wish I could. Uh, fifty-four billion dollars nowadays isn't that much money compared to the trillions of dollars we're in debt nowadays all right so endure the new deal was effectively over by 1939 but its impact would last the new deal economic and financial reforms including the creation of the fdic the sec and social security had helped stabilize the nation's economy and finances although the nation still experiences economic downturns known as recessions not recess, recessions, people's savings are insured and that they can receive an unemployment compensation if they lose their jobs. How nice. The Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, continues to monitor the stock market and enforces laws regarding the sales of stocks and bonds. The FDIC, Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, created by the Glass-Steagall Act of 1933, shored up, supported the banking system. It reassured individual depositors that their savings are protected against the loss in the event of a bank failure. Oh, how the tides have turned. Today, the FDIC insures up to $250,000 deposit in a federal bank. New Deal legislation also protected workers' rights through the Wagner Act and the Fair Labor, Standard, Fair Labor Standards Act by setting standards for wages and hours. They banned child labor and ensured the right of workers to bargain collectively. However, one of the most important legacies of the New Deal, ND, has been that of the federal government assuming some responsibility 
for the social welfare of its citizens. Under FDR, the government created the social security system designed to help a large number of American Americans receive some assistance. The Social Security Act provided old age insurance program to and to aid people with disabilities and families dependent children. And it included an unemployment compensation system run jointly by federal and state governments. <clears throat> so there are some legacies. Legacy, legacy, legacy. <clears throat> Environmental impact. So the New Deal also had an impact on agriculture, like the legislation that helped set up quotas on wheat production to control surpluses. Remember, overproduction was a key a key cog in the machine that caused the Great Depression, or at least the Dust Bowl. Under the second AAA passed in 1938, the Commodity Credit Corporation will make loans to farmers. The amount of a farmer's surplus crops in the parity price, which is the price intended to keep a farmer's income steady, determine the value of the loan. They will also establish agricultural price supports that set a precedent of federal subsidies to farmers that will continue in the 2000s to this day. And New Deal efforts both affected the environment positively and negatively. FDR was a highly committed cons conservationist and promoted policies designed to protect the nation's natural resources, kind of like his long-lost cousin. The Civilian Conservation Corps, CCC, planted trees, created hiking trails, and built fire lookout towers. The Social Conservation Service taught farmers how, how to conserve soil through contour plowing, terracing, crop rotation. Congress passed the Taylor Grazing Act to help reduce grazing on public lands, which contributed to the erosion that brought about the dust storms of the Dust Bowl. Some government projects supported strip mining and coal burning, which will cause air, land, and water pollution. Hmm. Hmm. The Tennessee Valley Authority, TVA, put people to work by building dams, which harness the power of water to generate electricity and help prevent disastrous floods in the Tennessee Valley. The government also added to the national park system and established the wild refuges and wilderness areas. So here's a little cartoon of um, FDR. More, please. The reorganization power, the reorganization program, but in it is all the power FDR wants. Congress is serving them up. All right, legacy. Why is my screen now to moving? There we go. So the reforms that began under the New Deal continue to influence American politics and society today. The greatest impact of the New Deal is perhaps, test question, perhaps the extent to which it expanded the power of the federal government by infusing the nation's economy with millions of dollars, creating federal jobs, attempting to regulate supply and demand, increase government involvement in setting, settling labor and management disputes, and... The president had a more active role in shaping the economy. That hadn't happened ever until FDR. And some might say, oh, that was kind of like socialism. Well, really, what had been uh, working in the early 1900s wasn't working now or in the 1930s. And something had to be done. Someone had to step up, and it was Franklin Delano Roosevelt that stepped up. These changes established the authority that the government of the government to create agencies to regulate banking and investment activities. The increased federal oversight of the economy during the New Deal set a precedent for additional government involvement going forward. The expansion of the New Deal also affected the relationship between federal and state governments. Federal officials attempted to involve the states in the New Deal programs. The federal government will provide aid to the states at a from $217 million in 1932 to over $2 billion to the states in 1935. With new funds, state governments increased relief spending and provided new services. 
Critics still felt that the size of the government at the federal and state levels will get out of hand. They believed the, extans- the expansion threatened the basic character of the nation. Oh, critics. You and your two cents. Uh, New Deal spending, you have FDR. Uh, how good are the brakes on this thing? And he goes, what brakes? Just in case they ever wanted to slow down. That's what it says at the bottom. All right. The over under of legacy. The New Deal angered those who believed it took more of their money in taxes and curtailed their freedom through increased government regulations. Many conservatives think FDR's or thought FDR's policies made the federal government too large, too powerful, and that it stifled free enterprise and individual initiative that rugged individualism Herbert Hoover talked about. Liberal critics, in contrast, however, argue that FDR didn't do enough to socialize the economy and to eliminate the social and economic inequalities. Supporters, however, contend that the president struck a reasonable balance between the two extremes, the unregulated capitalism and the overregulated socialism. And this will help the country recover from its economic difficulties. This is really world truth. Overall, the New Deal legacy had many dimensions. It brought hope and gratitude from some people for the benefits and protections they received. It will change the relationship between the government and citizens, as well as the expectations for what citizens expect from their government. FDR's efforts to end the Great Depression also fueled one of the most fundamental and lasting debates about government in the nation's history. To this day, Americans still disagree about the appropriate role and the size of the federal government. Oh, well. So, here's uh, FDR, Uncle Sam. His little teddy bear. Uh, I'm surely expecting something. So, TVA, CCC, CWA, FACA, the AAA, PWA, NRA. And then the American People, Recovery tractors all right and that concludes this lecture very quick very short uh only four slides so oh man that feels good feels great to finally finish Uh, we've been going at this for close to two months now (laughs) Mm. Long, 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 long. 14 lectures. 14. All right. So uh, that concludes this lecture. Your homework is page 477, 4 through 6. 477, 4 through 6. If you guys did enjoy that, I know this lecture was short, but the unit was long. If you guys did enjoy that, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.